Hello, my name is Virgil K7VZ and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade to version 2 of WSJTX without completely uninstalling or destroying any previous versions including 1.9.1 so on December 10th 2018 the WSJT uh, team released version 2 so I've already gone through and uh, downloaded the Windows version here um, you'll want to go through and, and read through the manual to make sure uh, you're aware of any of the changes the major thing with version 2 is that uh, it upgrades to 77 bit messages from the previous 75 bit therefore it is not backwards compatible so you can have both versions installed but uh, they will not decode each other so we'll start off as you can see I've got version 191 still installed and running here and there's quite a few guys still using it so um, the big push now is, is to get everybody to upgrade to version 2 and uh, let's get started so the first thing I usually do before changing versions or upgrading anything is go into your uh, configuration folder and that's under the C users my username on this computer is k7vz and then app data is a hidden folder so you'll have to type that in to the address bar up here and then it's local and then wsjtx and the two files you want to back up is first of all here's your log file uh, wsjtx.log and then there's also a .ini file and that has the configurations so you can go ahead and just duplicate or back up this whole directory uh, these are the two files that I usually pay attention to here though once you have those backed up um, I'm gonna show you the default location of where the application installs is under CWSJT and you can kinda see of that what happens is I've got uh, the default install is, is WSJT and then WSJTX I've named mine 191 after the end here and then you can also see remnants of I was running uh, version 2 release candidate 5 so instead of using the default I added the RC5 at the end alright I've already downloaded the install executable so let's go ahead and just run that I leave everything the default except for when you get to this window to choose the installation path so here again is that CWSJT and instead of allowing it to do the default I'm just going to type in version 2.0.0 and click next and just that quick we've already finished I'm gonna uncheck the run the program for now let's click finish and if we jump back to the install directory you will see now we have the 191 and the WSJTX2 so let's minimize to the desktop and what I what I'll do is uh, copy this shortcut paste it and then on our copy rename that to version 2 so now on the on the version 2 I'm gonna right click and choose properties and instead of the the 191 folder we want to direct this shortcut to the version 2 folder that we had created so I'm simply going to just change these two lines hit apply OK and now 
I should be able to launch version 2. Okay, so uh, here's another common thing you're going to see is in version 2 you may get this error loading logbook of the world user data. For now just click OK. Um, there is a warning uh, that it's not backwards compatible with 191 so click OK on that all and you can already see that I'm decoding version 2 stations here already. Alright let's close out and I did prepare uh, pre-downloaded to fix the logbook of the world error. Uh, there's a link on the website in the user's manual to download this Win32 Open SSL. So you simply install that and it will fix the logbook of the world error. Okay, so let's relaunch version 2. And no logbook of the world error. We just get the st standard splash screen that's warning about backwards compatibility. And let's let this run through a cycle and we should see stations decoding that are running version 2. There we go. So if you found this video helpful, please like below and also subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thank you.